and a very special guest, Seth Meyer. Thank you for coming. This Thank you for our, having me. This is our kitchen at our um, offices on uh, 26th Street and the Hudson River in New York City. And Seth decided that he would come and learn how to make pretzels mm -hmm. so that this weekend, yes. as a present for your wife, I can present her with wife. Valentine's Day pretzels. Is this your first anniversary on um, Valentine's Day? No. Oh, you got when did you get married? A couple years ago? We got ago? married a couple years ago, yeah. Oh, okay. so this so, is, and we've been, we were together for years before we got married. Have you ever made pretzels for your wife? I have not. Have you ever made pretzels? I've never made pretzels, no. Oh, good. Well, this is so much fun. And you like pretzels? I, I love okay. pretzels. I probably like pretzels more than my wife. To okay. be honest, this is a better Valentine's uh, present for all right, me. But isn't she hungry? Yeah, she's hungry. She's hungry. Because she's, you can tell them. She's tell them why she's hungry. pregnant. And she's, she's going to have a baby in April. Can you believe that? I'm so excited for yeah, you, really. You. Seth is going to be a very good father. Thank you very much. And he's going to make his kids laugh all the time. Or... Okay. They'll cry, just laugh at me. It seems like when you turn into a dad, people just laugh at you. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. no, they're going to laugh with okay, you. Okay, good. So, um, this drink is called Honey Honey. All right. It's very... Your wife, she can't drink. No. Oh, but you can. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> I intended to so, start doing it even more. The whole secret of this drink is that it's fresh lemon juice. Okay. It's the best bourbon, whatever bourbon you love, but it has to be the best. And honey from your own hives. You have hives, right? I do. We have our own okay. hives, yeah. So and there's a lot of talk of like, do you keep the hives when you have a baby? But I think we can have both. Yes, but don't don't serve honey to your baby. <laughs> okay, I won't. Don't no no honey for I think okay. a year or something or two years something like that. What about that like dipping your finger in the bourbon when they're crying and just like oh I'm like just suck on this for a long time. That's okay. Good, okay, good. Thank you. That's fine. And. Um, Round ice cubes. Round ice cubes. Now this Look is at us. really fun. This is a contraption. I, it wasn't invented by these guys. See those guys? McAllen. Yeah, they make very good, very good spirits. Very good scotch. Yeah. Oh, very good spirits. But I don't drink scotch necessarily. I, I like I, scotch. This is a bourbon drink. Yeah, we'll do right? bourbon. But the big thing in Japan and in the fanciest bars in L.A., Round ice cubes. Round ice cubes. And oh, I'm and thinking, Danielle, how do you Danielle make them? Bar. Have you gone to the Danielle's bar? No. Uh, uh, cafe, uh, Balloud? No, it's not Balloud. Oh. Um, Danielle. Oh, okay. Um, he serves round ice cubes. So you start with a square. Okay. You put it right here, like that. You have to first freeze the water in here. Yeah. And use... Um, yeah, this wouldn't work because unfrozen yeah. water. Yeah. <laughs> and then put that on top. Okay. And magic happens. So you don't have to do anything. You don't press down or anything. No, don't, because this thing it weighs so, so much. You, your your weight wouldn't even add anything to it. This that. looks a little look, like tips. a medieval torture device, <laughs> where you put a guy in there. It's torturing that square yeah. of ice. And this is really going to turn it into a circle of ice. But look what's happening. See the water coming the out. The water is coming it's out. It's melting. It's melting. And it's forming. It's forming. Well, it's forming because it's melting. It's not, it's not yeah. pressing. It's not really doing something. two things, so it's not yeah. giving look too much Look at the water, look. Yeah. Look. And well, a lot of water's going to come out. All of a sudden, out. it's just going to... These are so much fun. Now, if you don't have the... This costs a lot of money. Hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds. Well... It's a very good, elaborate wedding present. If you for somebody who likes to drink um, or a bachelor present for the for the uh, all the bachelors yeah. in, your, in your a circular um, ice cube is not for the drink of the proletariat. I no, guess what we're saying. It's not yeah. And here, this is one that you can buy. I think for a dollar twenty nine at the Museum of Modern Art. Oh really? Yeah, you have to pull this out. I probably should run it under water here, but you could probably do that. You're pretty strong. Yep. Yeah. There we go. And so look, you're perfect round ice cube. Now hold on. Are these going to look just the same as this one? We'll try. Well, okay. now, I, you know what we're going to do once we get it? I'm going to hold okay. them behind my back, and, and you're going to tell me which one came from the $900 one. And this is the Martha one from Macy's. Oh, really? Yeah. That's look at very that. Look how pretty. Uh oh, that has a little knob in on it. Yeah, <laughs> yours. To, we have to knock that knob off. Yeah. Right. Can you get those out? Well, don't, don't break the mold. <laughs> this is Just wait a second. Okay. Okay. Now, watch. A little too much. Ah. This and but look how pretty this one is. Yeah, this is. This is pretty. Look. Oh my goodness, nine hundred dollars or the Martha. <laughs> how special. much? How much is the Macy's one cost? Who knows? Who knows? Uh oh, we don't know. But we're gonna. Whatever use it is. It's cheaper not and just <laughs> as good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so that's fantastic. That's okay, a beautiful so ice cube. I'll use the brown. secondary. Now the reason I'm gonna use the Martha. Okay. Okay. Use Martha. Okay. And then we can make two more here. Yeah. Why aren't these coming up? Seven ninety nine. Oh, seven ninety nine. Seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Seven ninety nine. And you can't tell the difference. Nope, not really. Not really. This, these will come out in a couple minutes in the, yeah. heat, in the heat. But we'll put these over here. Okay, great. Okay, so now the drink itself. But isn't this fun? It was fun. I do this at dinner parties and people are mesmerized. <laughs> yeah. It's like it. it's like magic. Yeah, it's, it's cooking it's, magic. 
it's just like so much fun for people to see. Okay, so now drink once. It's fun okay. to see once. You, I want, I want that that one. Okay, great. And you can mixers, have, and you, I'll have bullet. Can, yeah, All right. I'm gonna bullet. There you go. Okay. So I'm gonna have mixers up to that line. You okay. Can have as much as you want. Yeah, I'll go. Whatever. Do you have to drive? A little bit more. What? Do you have to drive today? No. You have a driver? Uh, no, I'll let my wife drive. So then you put oh. <laughs> So then you put honey. Okay. And then you put fresh lemon juice. And that's it. It's called honey that's honey. It. All right. Fantastic. Okay. That's a lot of honey. Well, you'll like it. Wait till you taste it. Because it's a lot of lemon juice. All right. That much. It may be too sour for you, but I like okay. sour. All right. And then that. Okay. And that. And just let it sort of sit around a little bit. Mm -hmm. The round ice cube doesn't dilute the drink so much. It doesn't melt as fast as Don't the try small. to sell me on it. It's just, it's it just pretty. looks nice. Well, Don't be like it sexy. also. It's yeah, sexy. it's sexy. I think it looks good. I don't want to hear it doesn't dilute. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. It's very good. It is a little sour. You want a little more honey? Yeah. Well, it's probably down in the bottom. Oh, yeah. It is in the bottom. And with uh, circular ice cubes, you want to use a knife. Uh, yeah. It's very important because uh, uh, without the edges stick. or chopstick <laughs> <laughs> or whatever was or, closest. Yes, whatever's around. Okay. Mm, now taste it. Is it sweeter? Mm. That's better. That's wonderful. Thank you. Mm, it goes right to your head. Thank you, honey. Honey, honey. A cocktail. Oh, inspired by, I have to give credit, to Jeffrey Zakarian at the Lambs Club. Oh, okay. His aren't so sour. His aren't as sour? <laughs> no. What'd you do wrong? Too much? <laughs> Not enough honey. Okay, let's fix honey, it. Honey, honey. Okay, this is honey from my honey hives, by the way. Your own honey hives? Yes. My bees were very productive this year. Oh, well, well, And then well. at the end of the summer, they just decided to fly away. They really? Left, they they all escaped? Left the hives. Yep. They Shawshanked? They all just, yep, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> They're out. All right. Gone. Are we off to okay. our next step? So, yeah, pretzels. Right. I think we'll make a mess of the pretzels if we bring all of this, but uh, who cares, right? Yeah. It's Friday. The week has been long. Uh -huh. Did you have a long week? Yeah. Did you have a good week? Yeah, a wonderful week. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. Who was on your show? Mm. Yesterday we had Susan Sarandon. Oh, I love her. She was wonderful. Oh, I love her. Alison Brie, lovely actress. Katie Nolan. She was great, sportscaster. Susan Sarandon has a has a house near me in Maine. Really? Yeah, and she came over. She had never been on a boat out in the ocean in Maine. I took her out. She'd never been on a boat in the ocean? Nope. They always, she lives on a lake, so she only, oh. <laughs> she only went on the lake. I couldn't believe that. Um, so we're going to make pretzels. And All this right. is the yeast dough. Okay. Um, and this, it's, is, this is show what you the cover, call... Show the cover of the magazine. Okay, sorry. Yep, pretzels. There you go. Pretzels. Now that's my column in the in the March issue of the magazine, and it's all for Valentine's Day because they're all hearts. Yeah, they are all hearts. Not all, but they're not all. I was going to say. <laughs> February issue. Oh, that's the February issue. Oh, February gosh. issue yeah, because um, uh, oh, Valentine's God. Day, a uh, famously in February. Yes. Is this February? Oh, it is February. It is February. Oh, see, I just wrote my columns for April. Oh, you did because you yeah. have to be a little ahead of it. I'm. You're always ahead. You're always. Was April egg based? Um, no, because that was March. Because. Easter is in March this year. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, learn and something next new every year, day. guess what? What? You're bringing your baby to my Easter egg hunt. Oh, I would like that. Okay. Although I think it'll probably be of the age where it's not good at finding eggs yet. Oh no, they crawl around and find them. Okay, good to yes. know. Yes. Almost a year old. Yeah. You, you know, you're going to have a very smart child. I hope so. And it's going to be walking and running by one year old. <laughs> if it can't find eggs in a year, it, I'm going to be very upset. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Uh. We do. But you're not telling anybody. No. Okay. Have I, have I given it away? Have I pronounced it accidentally? No. Hey, if you're watching on Facebook, ask us any questions except... The sex of your child. Yep. <laughs> okay, two cups of water, two packages of active dry yeast. Active dry yeast, great. And we need a half a cup packed brown sugar, so you can, okay. you can somehow finagle a half a cup of brown sugar out of there. Okay, great. And that annoying bag down there is my little garbage bag. Okay, good to know. It's like, like there yeah. should be something to get this it's out. Gonna all, yeah, well, you might have to use a spoon or something. Well, would it be nice if there was a spoon out? Mm, yeah, but there isn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, a spoon drawer. Oh, that's handy. Mm -hmm. there, there we go. Look at that. And then in the bowl of your mixer, we me uh, measure out, I think it's six and a half cups of bread flour. Important to use bread flour. 
This is nice. I feel like we have time together this way because when you come on my show, I know we're rushed, rushed, very rushed. rushed. Yeah, we're actually going to make some pretzels today. We are so actually going to. If I don't lose track of the number of cups I've put in here, that's three. Okay. I've got this. Uh, where do I put the brown sugar? Four. Oh, in in the yeast water. This you got yeast yeah. water. Okay, great. Four. Yes. Five. Okay, I'm, this is six. I'm okay now. Okay. So Dorothy wants to know what's your favorite Valentine gift to receive and also to give. Um, yellow diamonds are a good present. Ugh. Large <laughs> yellow diamonds. I really hope my wife oh. isn't watching. <laughs> And to give um, Valentine's cookies, a big, beautiful heart-shaped cookies, all decorated with nice sayings like "I love you" and um, you know, um, what else can you say? Um, I love you. Uh, tell, me your na- tell me your name one more time. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. <laughs> what else? Um, give me some because I have to do them tonight. Uh, I feel like this is fun now, but <laughs> I can't commit to where I'm going to be in my headspace in a year. Oh. Okay. That might be a lot to fit that's on a, one cookie. That's a lot. That'll be yeah. a very large cookie. Right. Um, this is both a Valentine's and a going away gift. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> but I do. But have, that's true. I do have one of those. I, you I know do. What? I have one of those. Really? Yep. Uh, how much? How much salt goes into the flour? How many salt? Salt. Six, salt. Salt. Six and a half cups. Four of flour. tablespoon coarse salt. Four tablespoons. So I hope this is a tablespoon. One, two. Yeah, that's a that's a tablespoon. Three. Mm-hmm. Four. Great. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, have you put in baking soda? In the in the pretzel? In yeah. the dough? So oh, right. in a, in a, in a no, meaty bowl mixed together, yeast, brown sugar, that's we got that, yeah. and a bowl of extra smooth, flour, coarse salt, butter. Oh, yes, the butter. Are you, do you want to do the... Yeah, I'll, I'll put, this is a stick of butter right here, right? And whatever it says. And um, uh, we put it in until... It's small little pieces, cold butter. Okay, and then we're going to mix it together yeah, with our hands I'm, until... I'm, oh, I'm you're not, not going to do that because I'm going to have to wash my hands and... So Tony wants to know, do you have to use yeast to make pretzels? Yes, indeed. This kind of pretzel, de- these are called raised pretzels. And these are typical of the pretzels that you would find in Germany, in Poland, in Russia... Um, you know, those, those Eastern European countries, delicious, delicious pretzels. Yeah, a German pretzel is oh. a jackpot. Oh, yeah, second to none. These I had a pretzel at a, off a street cart in Zurich, one of the great all-time pretzels in my life. But that's not German. Yeah, but still, it's Switzerland. <laughs> but Switzerland. Okay, I'm not allowed to talk about other pretzels? Yes, you are. And what about the pretzels on the streets of New York? They're good, too. They're okay. Yeah, but they're good. They're good. I, when I first moved oh. to New York, I ate them all the time. Yeah, but then you went to Zurich, and you got fancy. And then I was like, and sorry, then, New York. Put up his nose. Okay, so these get this gets all swished around. Okay. Now, look how nice the, the yeast is proofing. And so we just left that alone. Yeah, we left it alone. You can stir it a little bit, but see how it's getting you can stir it. Yeah. Try to get that... Uh, oh, you're drinking a lot of your drink. Well... We're celebrating. It's Valentine's Day. Mm. We this is not our first time spending Valentine's Day together. Oh no, I forgot to show the video. We don't have oh. to show that. We can just talk about it. Oh, uh, we'll show the video at the okay. end. Okay. Seth's been on my show uh, many times. I think that's the first show. time I was on your show. Because we've done we've done this a few times. We made hot cross buns. Oh yeah, it's for Lent. But we made them because you thought Jonathan Reese Myers was going to be on the show. <laughs> And he was on the tutors, and you wanted to make, so that's why you did hot cross buns. Yeah. And, and basically the whole time I was there, you just kept talking about how bummed out you were that Jonathan Reese Myers and canceled so on you. I'm sorry. I apologize. We've made, it, we've made up since then. And I do feel like today he was I was a very good Henry VIII. Could you have done that part? No. Never. Wonderful actor. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wonderful actor. But that part, that's a difficult part. That is a difficult part. Did you watch, um, what was the new one with uh, uh, Paul, Wolf Paul? Did you watch Wolf Paul? So sad. I'm Great. madly in love with Thomas Cromwell. Yeah. Not Mark the actor. Yeah, not Mark. Tom. You're, you're in love with the <laughs> historical <laughs> figure? Yes, I always fall in love with the character or fall out of love with the character. Well, that's actually, I guess, smarter than playing in love with an actor who's playing a character. I than, know, yeah. I know. I, you know, it's like, it's like hard to fall in love with the actor. Yeah, but I like, think that's what people do more often than they fall in love with the character. Well, I think that it is true because yeah. they're real. I mean, the right. character is not so real. Thomas that's Cromwell. The audience wants to know what you're giving your wife or not. Oh. I can't with the secret. 
because there is a chance she's watching. What did you give her last year? What did I give her last year? It's a secret. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not great with gifts. You're not. No, but I will do this. Are you cheap? I'm not cheap. I'm just not thoughtful. I see I'm thoughtful because I. What I'll do is I'll write a very long card, like did a you handwritten. Make, did you make the card? No. <laughs> but I'll have beautiful thoughts. You will? Beautiful words. And that's all you give your wife? Well, I gave her right a baby. Pregnant with your child? What do you mean you gave her? That was my gift. Oh. That was the man's gift to her. That is a poor, <laughs> a poor excuse for a Valentine's present. We're I'm going out to a lovely dinner. You are? Where? Yeah. Uh, we're, well, I don't, we're going to, I'll tell you later. Place in Connecticut. <laughs> okay. That's a good newlywed gift. Man, well, if you mean if you have money left after the wedding, um, I don't know. I'm bad with gifts. It's especially. It's, oh, what should it's, they do? What should they do on Valentine's I'm Day? Just, I'm just squeezing the butter into the flour a little bit more. Okay, great. Okay. Do, you know, I'm trying to get in a romantic headspace yeah. when you say stuff like that. <laughs> it takes me out of it. Sorry. I mean, look. What would your wife like to have? My wife would like to... Here's what my wife would like to have. I'm sure ten times this year, my wife has tried very hard to drop a hint about something she wants more than anything like else. what? I don't know, because I miss them all ten <laughs> times. And then what will happen is, on Monday, after Valentine's Day, she'll be like, How did you not know I didn't want Le Chucuba by Klarn? And then I'll say, Oh, that does sound familiar. You've said that a bunch. I'm bad. She, I'm my wife... Endures so like a lot like with your me. Assistant, you have about 15 assistants. They don't remind you. I and I will say, I get each of them a beautiful gift. You do, like what? <laughs> I put a lot of thought into my assistant gifts, and then I just don't have time left for my wife. No, my wife endures a lot with me. She's she should have done far better. That's sad. It is a little sad. But so I do. How I'm long, a, how long are we supposed to? How long are we supposed to mix up this like, music? No, just do it until <laughs> we've moved on to another topic. Six um, to eight minutes, I think. Six to eight minutes of this? Yeah. Ooh, wow. But we're going to turn it off because we have other dough. Oh, good. And, we have dough ready. We, so this has to be mixed six or eight minutes till it's soft that, and smooth like a baby's bottom. Oh. See? It's not yet, but then another one that's coming out is soft and smooth. Like so if my baby's bottom feels like this, something's expensive. terribly wrong? Yeah, they have <laughs> diarrhea or something. <laughs> okay. Ooh, they ate the wrong, pretzels they seem ate, delicious. They ate the wrong formula. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Okay. What are some of the craziest things you've received from Valentine's Day? The craziest things I have received. Um, well, one year, oh, one year I got a great big box like this. And in it was a Sears Roebuck drill set and drill. Oh my goodness! That was that was what was supposed to be in it. But after I opened the box in front of a whole lot of people, I was I was kind of disappointed. Of course, uh, there was a strand of gorgeous golden pearls. Ah, oh, so it was the fake out box with the pearl. That's very nice. That was very nice. That's a good and one. And all the other men were very jealous, and the wives were furious. Yeah. Wait, where were you at a Valentine's at a, Day party? At my house. But people gave... No, this was a present from a, a suitor. But it was on Valentine's Day? Yeah. You did a public giving of gifts on Valentine's Day? Well, it just happened to coincide with an event. Okay, gotcha. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. But, but that is, yeah, all the wives had a right to be furious. If yes, there was. They, they did. Yeah. So here's the dough. Look at this. So that can go away, that can go away. I think uh, we What's our next step? There. Making pretzels. Can I have a, a cornichon now? You can have whatever you want. So, Rebecca wants to know, do you make special treats for dogs on holidays and special occasions? Yes, of course. I make all the dogs food. Oh, yeah, but can be careful, Sarah. This is Sarah Carey, everybody. Here, say hi. Hi, Everyday happy food. Valentine's Day. Everyday food. Finish. Almost. Yes. Can you carry that? Yep. Okay, don't trip on anything. I won't. Okay. Um, all right, so what's next? Here's our dough. Feel. Oh, no, it's so cold. If your baby's bottom feels like that... <laughs> Take him to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. It is so cold. <laughs> this, this dough has to rest overnight in the refrigerator. Okay, there we go. And uh, it is that... Are we going to start, like, baking this into the shape of pretzels? <laughs> yep. That's yep. the next step? Yep. Okay, so what do we do? Fun. Just start pulling it off? No, you're going to roll that. Roll it? 12, Where? 12 by 14 inches right here on this nice Do you surface. need to put anything down or no? Nope. Really? Nope. Okay. 
Okay. Do we have a roller or just with my right hand? There. What? See that? Oh, yes, sorry. That, that's it. Gotcha. But first, just, I'm just going to press this down a little gotcha. bit. And you're going to do the rolling, and we want a rectangle, as close to a rectangle as you can get. We roll this into a rectangle. Yes. All right. See, that, that you might like that one better or this one. Which would well, you we'll use? We'll see. Okay. I haven't tried yet. Okay. Okay. Just not too hard, not too hard. Mm. It's a little sticky right there. Yeah. Yeah. But And okay. then turn the dough. Turn it upside down? No, just turn it. This way? Yep. Okay. See how nice it is without flour? Yep. And if you add flour to it, it's not so nice when you have to you have to boil the raw pretzel. Do you know that? No. Yep, you broil them. A little bit like making bagels. With If it has flour? No. Or all the time? No. This, the process is... Oh, I don't know why that's wet there. There's a little moisture pocket okay. there. Okay. What now? Turn it Keep again? Keep going. Or? Yep. 12 by 14 inches. 12 by 14 inches. Which will make it the right thickness. Ah, pretzels. okay, great. See? We, this is all scientific. Mm hmm Very, very scientific. Does that look a meal so you would want someone to cook for you for Valentine's Day? A meal I would want someone to cook for me for Valentine's Day. I'm well, first of all, I mean... Turn this over. Let's be honest. On Valentine's Day, I would hate to make someone cook for me. <laughs> I'd rather take them out to you a would? restaurant and make someone else cook for us. Really? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Restaurants are nice. And you get to, like, dress up and, like, have wine. Cheers across a candlelit dinner. Um, but, uh... It's a pretty good roller, don't you think? I'm a pretty good roller. Yeah, how, uh, you can call in and tell me if you think that Seth is an appropriate pretzel roller. I think um, he is. I would say, like, not pasta or not anything with, like... Fattening. Yeah, because on Valentine's Day, you want to, like, keep yeah. it tight, you know, because there's business to be done later. <laughs> so, like, uh, I guess, like, a Gatorade, a <laughs> um, couple power bars. <laughs> Lara from Singapore wants to know what's an easy to cook recipe for your loved one. That's for you. I defer to you. Well, do you like oysters? I mean, the, yes, I the do. The typical foods for, for for Valentine's Day are oysters raw mm -hmm. with a nice like a mignonette sauce or yeah. something like that, or lemon. Um, caviar. Can't do oysters either right caviar now. Caviar right? is good. No, she can't do oysters. She can't do drinks. Mm -hmm. She can't do um, what else? What else is very Aphrodisiacal. Mm -hmm. um, chocolate, right? Do people mm -hmm. say chocolate? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. That never did it for me. Mm -hmm. um, ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> don't <know. laughs> um, Well, Jean wants to know, she's made strawberry or cherry cheesecake for her husband for the last 32 years. It's time for a change. Any ideas? I'd be honest. If you're on a 32-year streak, I wouldn't mess with anything. <laughs> A lot of people are wondering how to get to 32. Yeah. I would stick how with about, what's working. How about to three or four? Yeah, don't jinx it. You're killing it right now. So Jean we, might wake up and be like, what? Where was my cake? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, measure. Um, 11. Oh, 11. 11 by... 15. Oh, that's that's good okay. Enough. It averages out, yeah, right? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. 12 by 14, 11 by... 15? Yeah. Yeah. We don't okay. play by the rules. So then we're going to make little strips, and you want straight edges, so I'm just going to cut off the edge. And do not throw that to the dog, because okay. it's yeast. Right. And the dog will might get a little stomach ache. So that you're supposed to cut this into 14 strips. Do you want to do the 14 yep. strips? Yeah. Wait, so 14 across? Yeah, so I would cut, do that and then 7. Oh, that's so much smarter than the, the way I was going to do it. In the middle. <laughs> Are you in the middle? Yeah, I think okay. that's the middle. Let's see. Oh yeah, do you want to see to check how close I came to yeah. nailing the middle? How, do you think I'd nail it? I would turn that, yeah, turn that over and go this way. Okay. Is it seven and seven, seven and That's a half? That's seven and a half? Half by seven. Like seven and a quarter. I think I did well enough. Very well. Now it's seven, seven strips. Okay, wait, turn it this way? Oh, this way. <laughs> well, that's the way I had it. No, you didn't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I'm, in, now I'm in my head. Facebook Live. Press hard. <laughs> Don't go backwards, just once. This is enough. One, two. You're very good. Thank this you. guy's really great in the kitchen. Oh my god. So patronizing. Three. <laughs> Four. Five. Six. Seven. Perfect. Not bad. Not bad. Seven more. Okay. Glad you're doing that. There's some ha Valentine's Day wishes from Ezra in Turkey, Dominican Republic. Listen to that turkey. That's Hi, fantastic. Hey. Oh. Uh, Johnstown, Pennsylvania. 
Susie says hi. Minnesota. Jonestown, Guyana. <laughs> Michigan. Wow. All I wouldn't have put Michigan last. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now, take a strip. Uh huh. Start in the middle because these are probably nicer strips. Oh, we have to move all the strips to over here. Okay. So, because we need we need space to roll. Oh, I can't get through to this one. Yeah, that was the one I didn't press yeah. hard on. And I was going to go back, I but I was told I said not, not to. to. And then I had to do it anyway. Well, this is an impenetrable surface, and this is not that sharp. And it's called the it's called Martha marble. Yes, and if you have it's a marble counter, or a um, corian, or a quartz, uh, you can cut with a with a, one of these pizza cutters. Absolutely. Famous last word. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey Martha, I just yeah. tried it and I cut the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, now watch bad. what we're going to do. Now, oh, and now your trays have to be sprayed with a vegetable spray, like a, like a Pam mm -hmm. or a lecithin. Okay. Now, don't, you're not, you're not finished. Here. I'm not Start finished. To roll. Start in the middle. Oh, great. And roll. Okay. Hey, we've already sprayed our pans. That was what confused me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you wanted to do that. Yeah, I just. Okay. I'll make so sure you're a little crowded here. here. Take that away. That's good. Okay. That's good. And try to get it as just as, as even a snake as possible. You're going to be doing this with your kids. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Can you imagine with pretzel. clay? Okay. Are and you already starting to make a pretzel? Yes. Well, I don't know how to do that. Well, I'll show you. You okay. can do it laying down first. So start. This is the top. Uh huh. Or the bottom. Okay. And then bring these around. Mm -hmm. and this is the. This is the, the a beginner's way to do it. Ugh. Okay? Uh huh. And then wrap those around like this. Okay. One, two, mm -hmm. you can do it three times. Okay. Three. All right. And then you bring those up to here. Like that? Like that and press, you know, not all the way there, like to uh, there. To uh -huh. there and press. Oh my goodness. Press. Look at that. You made a pretzel. I made a pretzel, you guys. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> And look, you, then you put that pretzel over on that sheet. Wait, you made me do it three times. And yeah. you only did yours no, twice. No, mine's like two and a half. Okay. Don't, don't. I'll lose you my cool. All right. You, you really have to press them because when you boil them, you have to boil them now. See? Uh -huh. But look how pretty. Yep. Yours is perfect. Thank you. Okay, do another. Are we going to make some other sharp So shapes? Aaron wants yeah. to know, if you are having a Valentine's gathering, how can you do it without being too cheesy? Well, what do you mean cheesy? I think she's like having people over for a Valentine's Day party. I guess that's a gathering, right? Yeah. I gotta be honest. Like that goes back to you getting pearls on Valentine's Day in front of people. Don't have a bunch of people over on Valentine's Day because some couple isn't gonna. That's gonna like that's like that better. is a trip. Yeah, I know. That's a party where everybody fights on the way home. <laughs> like Christmas, have your gatherings. Like, that's a good one. Valentine's like, have is for the couple. Yeah, just for couples. Don't have a bunch of people over on Valentine's Day. Good like, advice. Thank you. Good, especially if you don't give your wife a present. Said as a man. So on your way home today. On Friday. On your way who's home. Who's going to leave in a scramble. Uh -uh. On your way home today, you better stop up on Madison Avenue. Mm-hmm. So that's another kind of little snail. Present. The snail. That's so the snail. So Adrian wants to know, what's your favorite Valentine's Day sketch from SNL? Oh, that's a good question. Valentine's Day sketch. What I mean? Now I can't remember because I think keep doing. Was D and a B taking a box? I'm oh, sorry. What <laughs> was that? That might have been Christmas. Okay, it was Christmas. I think it was Christmas because I was thinking was that a Valentine's Day sketch? Uh, what was? It's about giving a gift. <laughs> what is about? Valentine's Day. I can't believe I can't think of a great Valentine's Day sketch. I'm sure Stefan did something on Valentine's Day that was uh, memorable, um, uh, but I can't remember the details of. So, uh, but I always, it's always safe to say Stefan probably had the most memorable uh, discussion of the holiday. What are you doing now? Are we here doing hearts? Black heart. Okay. See how cute. That's a nice one. This one's not going to. I don't think this one's going to work. Too yeah, well. no, I got it wrong. Mm -hmm. Linda wants to know what you got Stefan for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I get Stefan the same thing. I get him every ho uh, Valentine's Day since I got married an apology card, <laughs> where I try to explain to him that uh, ultimately we weren't going to work long term. Oh. So, 
Yeah, so now you twist that as many times as you want. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the little the and down part of the heart. And then you bring this around. Yes, perfect. See? These have to be squeezed, though, together. Right, because once you boil it. Yeah. Here, and then the upper part of the heart mm -hmm. has to come up. Yeah, you just, and you shape it here, and, and it'll... Can I put an arrow through my heart? Come on, I, let me try it. You can try. Okay. Do whatever you want. But you cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut you know, what? You take your roller and make it shorter, you okay. know, because it'll be too fat. No, not, not the roller, the cutter. Okay. okay. And so make an arrow out of that. Okay. See? Creativity abounds. <laughs> well, i put this over here so that you can okay. make room. <gasps> it's going to be so nice with well, the Well, the arrow's going through, through the heart. Yeah, I so. love that. All right. Oh, yeah, but I guess that's... Mm -hmm. Your heart looks good. Wants to know, what type of flour can you use if you want to make a gluten-free pretzel? I have not tried that at all, and I um, I sort of like shudder at the thought of gluten-free pretzel. <laughs> I have had a gluten-free pretzel, and they're pretty gnarly. Gnarly. Yeah, they're not they're really tough. Good. They're just like none of the joy of a pretzel. Oh. Like at some point you're like. Probably this there's a lot of people that are gluten intolerant. Don't no. make them feel bad. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, uh, gluten intolerance there's, is a serious thing, but you just, like, pretzels might not be a thing you How enjoy. How about cup-for-cup cup flour? I don't know what that cup means at all. <laughs> <laughs> cup-for-cup cup is for gluten intolerance, and okay. one cup of that flour equals one cup of regular flour. Okay. And it makes very good cakes and stuff, so I maybe... I don't know. How did you... You <laughs> said gluten-free pretzels sound awful. I confirmed it, and then you turned it around on me like I'm the monster. That has no sensitivity towards those I who are gluten I didn't say anything dough. quite as awful as you said. You said it didn't sound good. You can't imagine it. And then I said, you don't have to imagine it. I'll tell you. Okay. I apologize. For gluten-free pretzels? And I'm sure We have it's a better. recipe on our site for gluten-free pretzels, so please go to MarthaStewart.com and access the gluten-free pretzel. Yeah. Also, a uh, quick look at the arrow. It was a bust. We tried. Not really. Not really. Well, I don't know. I would put this I think under, what it's done, it's not going to look like it. Under there, look, and then you'll, you'll, I think it looks great. Look at that. I think it looks like a guy with a weird mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, now, Martha. Okay, so there, we finished what that What are tray. the rules on a second cocktail? <laughs> How about having half of mine? Because if I drink any more, I am going to fall over. All right. I'm not good at drinking in the day. You're not? No. There we go. There. Thank you. That's so more that. than half. Mm. Um, okay, so now we're going to boil these pretzels. We have a lot more pretzels to make and there are many different shapes to make, but I think we've made some of the essential shapes here. So, look, we have water. Uh -huh. Is it a quart of water? I forgot four cups? It's eight cups. Oh, it's eight cups of water that is simmered down to four. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not supposed to. No, I know, but... You can add a little more. Yeah, yeah. I think I better add a little more water. Thank you. Sarah wants to know, can you freeze, not that Sarah, not me. <laughs> can you freeze the dough overnight and then defrost it? Um, or freeze it ahead of time and defrost? Um, you probably can do all of those things, You can, but, but it's so easy to make. Make it the night before, make the pretzels the next day, um, boil them, bake them, and then I have successfully cooled the pretzels. Are you listening? I am. I have cooled the pretzels and wrapped them well and frozen them and then reheated them. They are delicious. They are so good, reheated. So here, some eight cups of water. Mm -hmm. We have baking soda, one half of a cup. It's a lot of baking soda, but that adds bubble and effervescence to the water. Okay. A quarter of a cup of that brown sugar in Yeah. In. Okay, so put that in there. And oh. beer. That's, so there's beer in these? Yes, it adds flavor. Okay, how much beer? You're putting in a oh, half a cup beer. of pale ale style beer. This might be a twist off top. Mm. I bet it's not. I think that it has is a, a little terrible hair. bottle over I know. <laughs> Where did this come from? I hope they're not a sponsor. Mm, I, I hope so. <laughs> there you go. There. You want to sip before I pour it in there? I'm sure. Just half a cup, though, right? Half a cup right there. But you could add a little bit more if you want. I will. Mm, see, I like beer. I do, too. I, I didn't... What's your favorite kind of beer? Well, I, I like sort of like... Uh, I like... Foreign beers like Japanese. Mm -hmm. I like. Do you uh, like them lighter or darker? See, I like Czech Spot because mm. I like a Pilsner. Mm, so do I. I but I, is, is Mexican beer Pilsner? Yeah, but some of them are. Yeah. I just anyway. like a light beer. Yeah, but Japanese beers are good too. Uh -huh. so they're all like that light, that lighter colored beer. I don't like the big heavy ones. Czechs, I think, drink the most beer per capita. Oh, they do? Yeah. I didn't know that. 
More than Mexicans? Mm-hmm. Wow. So Ashley wants to know, can these be served in a lunchbox? Do they have to be warm, or can you cool them and serve them, give them to your kids to take to school? Um, you can send these to school with your kids, um, fresh in the morning. You have to warm them up in the morning and then wrap them for their, you know, in their Just like tell your kids don't make a big show of, these are homemade pretzels. <laughs> What's in your lunchbox? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm having Martha Stewart homemade pretzels. Is, am I using this to lift them out? No, the My flat husband, one. So yeah, where is it? It's oh, in the crock. Oh, uh, there it is. So we're going to put the pretzels in here. Yes, you poach them. Okay. And then you put them back on a baking sheet, mm -hmm. and then you put them in a 450 degree oven. Then you decorate them. So exciting. Yes. So, so I think we'll also try the easier. You decorate them first. You before decorate them before the oven. Yeah. Poach. I, how many times do I have to Poach tell you? Happens. Poach. Decorate. Oven. <laughs> <laughs> Poach. Decorate. Oven. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. What did I say? You said poach oven oh, decorate. Oh, gosh, you're right. Oh, my God. I did it's all right. Thing. It's not live. Uh, okay. Now, how long do I poach them? I'm going to tell you right now. This is the way you teach. You make them read. As they don't. Valley wants to know, can she make them without beer because she is allergic? To beer? There must be a gluten-free beer. About 30 seconds each. There are a lot of gluten-free beers. Yeah. Oh, she's allergic to alcohol. Oh. Oh. Uh, there must, oh, there's alcohol-free beer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah plenty there's of like beer. There's like an Odules. Plenty of my alcoholic intolerant friends have mm -hmm. beer. They do. Um, okay, so that's Also, not. just do it without beer. Look at this cute one. But easy answer. I love, I like, look, yours turned into a really cute snake. Mm-hmm. Kind of a snail. But this okay. was also a snail. Number Remember, 30 that. seconds each. Uh -huh. Counting. But you see how they see how they puff up? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, they puff up. Very puffy. And then this one is yours. Oh, this is so exciting that now I feel like we're in the home stretch. We are. So you don't you don't leave them in the oven very long, right? No, just until the, they get nice and golden brown. About eight minutes. Yep. So it's a few steps, but it's definitely worth it. Totally worth it. Because you can't all just fly off to Zurich any old time. You might as well make these. I wouldn't have brought up Zurich if I'd known I'd be so ashamed about it. <laughs> it's so beautiful, it's Zurich. I'm trying to bring a personal story in about my experience with pretzels and blew the background <laughs> on me. There's another one. All right. Well, the hearts are looking good. Yeah. I'm a little worried about how the... Um, the arrow's going to poach up. <laughs> How are we for time? We're good. We're good for time? Mm -hmm. We're 40 minutes. Martha, have you seen what you're doing for Valentine's? I haven't. Do you I'm know? Not, I'm not going to tell. Okay. Kate wants to know... Other than make cookies. Okay, there you go. With messages. Kate wants to know, can you add herbs or any other flavors to the dough? Um, I think you could probably make sweet pretzels. I think you could make... Spicy pretzels, but the to it's the toppings that do all that. So, oh, look at that great-looking heart. I love that. All right. <gasps> and here comes the heart with the arrow. Okay. Or oh, maybe I should let you take Yeah, let me take you it. Lift that you lift I feel like you're, you're trying to sabotage because okay. you know that you, you won't be able to take credit for this. Careful. Really Don't get your fingers Natasha in Natasha wants One. to know, can you add food coloring to the dough, red or pink? Um, I haven't tried that, but you probably could. I don't know if it'll look so good. Pink, pink would be good. Yeah. You're counting thirty. <laughs> now that's when your children are going to laugh at you when you're doing that. <laughs> What'd you say you were giving your wife for Valentine's Day? Twenty-seven, <laughs> twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Get it out, Martha. Okay, get it out. Okay. It's looking a little less like a heart, but it's... Yeah, I know. Yeah. But we can straighten it out a little bit. I think that's, you know... Okay, so that's that. We, we okay. Can, we can still sort of form it a little mm -hmm. bit. I think it's looking like a man with a mustache. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put some toppings on these. Uh, oh, okay, these little buddies. Okay. Let's take them over to... Where are the toppings? Right there. Oh, my God. Well, let's make room here. We're getting a mess here. Or beer, it's right there. All right. Okay. Okay. So, um, what I do you got think here? well, you have salt. I think salt is very essential for most pretzels, mm -hmm. don't you? Yep. 
and we also have cheese. I had no idea that cheese would be so great on pretzels. Salt all of them? Uh, yeah, salt all of them. These are yeah. savories. Right. And uh, we have different kinds of cheeses. We have Parmesan cheese, we have cheddar cheese, um, and we have a, like a Gruyere cheese. This is going to be a cheesy, a cheesy pretzel. Nina says she adds rosemary, garlic, olives, chili peppers. Chili peppers wow. I like. I like She's that style. expert. Which is the Gruyere? Um, that one. Is it? I'm just guessing. Is it or cheddar? I think so. I don't know. I'm not. And I'm going to put a few sunflower seeds on there, which we have taken out of the bird feeders. Do you feed your birds? Um, I don't have them. Do you have any birds? No. Outside bird feeders? Well, we have a bird feeder. Um, um. At our, at our other place. Not in the country? No, that's the other place. Oh. But in the country, you should have bird feeders now because mm -hmm. the birds are starting to starve. You can ruin your weekend. Yeah. But tomorrow, you oh, should... Oh, dead birds. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Tomorrow, you should go to the Agway <laughs> store and get some beautiful bird are these, uh, feeders. Is this pepper? What's this? Or the sesame seeds? No, that's, uh, that's uh, poppy seeds. Poppy, uh, poppy seeds. seeds are very good on All right. pretzels. All right. So Nancy wanted to know why did you poach the pretzels? Well, you have to poach to start the yeast, to activate the yeast, and get them nice and puffy. Can you see how nice and puffy these are? I don't think you put enough stuff on those. You know, well, I feel like you don't want to overdo them. Yeah, you do, you do. I'm, it's, I'm, it's amazing when you put more things on What are these? Them. They're prettier. Um, I can't tell what that is. Oh, caraway seeds. Okay. Very tasty, like rye. What do you think? Fantastic. Good for the breath. Mm-hmm. Look how nice that that one. That's my favorite pretzel. Great. That's yours. Oh, it is mine. That's yours. I turned that one right. into that, and mine, that's my favorite. It, it's that, a failed this. It is, but that's much nicer than that. It is. Yeah, it really is. I'm just adding a little bit more because you'll be happier when you see when I mean, it has a lot of stuff on it. David wants to know: Do you recommend Himalayan salt on pretzels? Oh, Himalayan, pink Hawaiian, black Colombian. Um, I go all over the world, Polish, um, those Polish mines, those salt mines are so beautiful, where they hit all the art. You don't go all around the world. I do, I they go all around the world. The first thing, no, <laughs> the first thing I buy in a country oh, really? is salt. Okay. Second thing I buy are seeds for plants. Oh, okay. That's what I look for. Great. Isn't that great? Yeah, that is great. It's very, very nice. And you learn, you learn a lot that way. But, uh, but the salt is so great. Okay, so these go into the 450 degree oven. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Here we go. 450. How many minutes? Five minutes, and then rotate, and then three, two. Okay. Five four. minutes. That was me. That Set your that. timer. Five. Starch. All right. That's five minutes. Now what? Uh, let's make the mustard sauce. Great. Mm. I love mustard sauce. So you. Mustard in general, you greatest condiment on earth, right? No yes. close second. Um, let me see. No, I think mustard. I love mustard ketchup, more than anything. Ketchup's probably a close, close second. Ketchup's okay, but it's a little... French fries without ketchup. Yeah, that's true. Mayo. Mayo might be... I don't... I'm no... I know, but mayo might be more popular than mustard. In but America, mustard... In America. I'm talking about America. Mustard is for people like you and I who are European. We understand the world. Yes. True. Mm, hot, with ketchup honey, on honey. our hot dogs. Okay. Honey, 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 starting? You make that one. How much? Um, I would put um, a lot of honey, uh, like half honey and half mustard. Use greeny mustard in that bowl there. This bowl, That's okay. Good. Yeah. And so just a bunch? Um, yeah. So I need a half a cup of Coleman's mustard. <laughs> How much of honey am I supposed to put? Hold on. I, I've now no, stopped. We're just making it up. There's no Oh, we're making it up. Great. Yeah, I like this then. I, my milk. wife um, hates when I cook because I have to do it exactly like the recipe so says. So this is um, 5.7 grams. Just 5.7 grams. That's the recipe. That's and aren't these cans the cutest? So cute. Yeah, and you can save these for your kids. You should take these home mm -hmm. for the baby. Because kids <laughs> love mustard. <laughs> oh, they love the chin. <laughs> oh, okay. Just stick little things in, like twigs and. Little and then you tell them you give them an allowance corn. of just a little bit of mustard every day. <laughs> And then they fill up their tin, and then when they have a full tin of mustard, and they can turn that in for other of a things. Cup of white vinegar. Uh, should I be putting mustard in my honey? I would. I, I. I think if you like smooth, you could do smooth, or if you like grainy, this might be nice grainy, or you like smooth. 
Um, whatever you like. No, no, no. You, you made okay. it, you've made your thoughts clear. So Debbie wants to know, did you grease the pan before putting yes. the pretzels on it? Yes. Pretzel dogs. Two people want to know about pretzel dogs. Oh, pretzel oh, dogs would pretzel be so fun. Pretzel so dogs are one of the greatest inventions of all time. So you put the hot dog inside. In the pretzel. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't that be great? Oh. We didn't make those. I wonder if Next time. Next, time. Next Valentine's Day, I'm going to bring okay. you hot dogs. Half a cup of dry white wine. So Martha wants to know, can you use wine in the poaching liquid that you poach the pretzels in? Instead of beer? Yeah. Yeah, why not? But it doesn't have it doesn't have as high a yeast uh, you know yeasty mm. content as the beer so and three large eggs. Carol wants to know what was the first record either of you had as a kid. The first rec record. oh the first album yeah. like yeah that's a good question what's the first record I ever had as a kid? Do you remember? I think I do remember but I need to think about it for a second. I know mine. I mean, we didn't have a Victrola in our house. There was Victrolas in those days. And there were no, no like, um, Walkmans and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And CDs. What were CDs? <laughs> uh, my neighbors had a, a Victrola, and I bought Heartbreak Hotel by, you know who? Elvis. Elvis Presley. That's what I had for my very, I still have that record. It was a little 45. Do you remember what yours? It was a CD. I'm thinking it's licensed it's to ill. Younger than I am. <laughs> by the BC Boys. <laughs> but I, my parents had records, and I think because my parents had records, like my parents were cool enough to have like Thriller. They, but like I didn't buy Thriller. My parents bought Thriller, but then we listened to it all the but time. You liked it, didn't you? Loved it. Yeah. Oh, I like Carol King's first. Well, it wasn't her first re record, but her Tapestry, and um, and of course um, Joe Cocker. I love Joe, Joe Cocker. Cocker. Did you see the Carol King play on Broadway? Have you seen by, oh, by the way, that mixture of the dry mustard, the wine, and the vinegar has to sit covered overnight in the refrigerator. Whereas the one I'm making is just ready to yeah, go. It's ready to go. That's right. So keep it keep it simple. So now we have to um, add the eggs. Uh, three large eggs. Darlene wants to know, how did you two meet? <laughs> I think the first time we met was on your show. Yeah. Yeah. But we've seen each other a lot since. Yep. And Multi uh, the most, I think the most appearances on my show of any guest. Or have? Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm pretty sure that oh, I'm confident that. about that. I love that. Um, and Seth came to my farm with his mother and father and brother. Yeah. The whole family yep. went up and had an incredible lunch. And it was maybe the hardest I've ever laughed on camera. <laughs> About the money. Martha was interviewing me, and Martha is a fantastic interviewer because she asks you questions that nobody else asks, <laughs> which is how much money do you make? Do you only fly first class? <laughs> <laughs> and you started to cry when I asked. I started laughing. to cry laughing because I heard my dad laughing off camera, and then I had this weird. Every now and then, when you have, uh, you know, in a life that's beyond what you expected, you realize you're sitting on Martha Stewart's farm being asked about first class, and you can hear your dad laughing, and you just can't. You start to cry. <laughs> At a beautiful farm. He, he was thinking, here's this beautiful farm. Will I ever have such a beautiful farm? And look what you have now. You're, you're like king of the night. I have a farm, but you're I like don't, I, and I still have nowhere close to your farm. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, that's you're true. You're young, and you're going to have everything, Seth. Oh, well, just I just... everything. And just, now you're uh, having a family. And, yeah, just a uh, healthy... If you just give health. your wife a Valentine's present, you will have more family. <laughs> I think I just like to create hurdles for myself. I don't want to make it that easy. Um, you were so nice to my family. We had an incredible... You know what? You, oh, you know what we had at Martha? We went and we had lunch and you put a bo, a Botarga? Oh, yes. Wasn't that good? On the pasta. And that's been a big thing in the house ever oh, since. Oh, yes? Yeah. Oh, good. Botarga is uh, the roe of a Mediterranean fish. And it's salted and dried. And you shave it over pasta with breadcrumbs and butter and garlic. Oh, it's so delicious. Right? Is it good? It's great. You can get your hands off a target, you guys. And Do it. Everyone keeps asking about these signs, how you made them. The what? The signs. Oh, cut them out of a fiber board or a cardboard. Uh, use the Martha Stewart craft glue and glitter. Simple. I think the templates, may, I don't know, I don't think they're on the website, but 
They might be, but you can, you know, love how easy those letters are. Look at them. <laughs> Memorize them. Historically known as four of the easiest letters. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's not, it, like, thank God it doesn't have a Q in it. Right. Who knows how to go about that? It's like an arrow. <laughs> Oh, so here, I put three eggs, um, a third of a cup of sugar, okay. a one and a half teaspoons of salt, and we heat this over simmering water until the eggs just get warm. This and is some honey mustard. and two kinds of mustard. It's a taste. How does it taste? It's fantastic. Mmm, it's so good. It's really mm, good. The best. This mustard dip is so delicious. You're going to make this a lot. This is not only good with pretzels, it's also very, very tasty with um, uh, country ham, regular ham, great on turkey sandwiches. You're going to love this mustard. One of the nice things I will say about our friendship is we see each other out. There are a lot of events in New York you have yes. to go to, and they can be a little stuffy. We always it's nice to have a friendly time. face. Right. But you were, you were great at the um, Hudson River Park. Oh, I got to present you. Yes, Or you introduce you, I should yeah. say. And, that was, and I'm very grateful for that. I was of course. The honorary Hudson River Park is that beautiful park right outside our windows here along the Hudson from 59th Street to mm -hmm. Battery Park. And it's, I live it's near the west side, and it completely changed New York. And you're going to use that park mm -hmm. so much. The kids on are my gonna own to get away from the kids. <laughs> no, just to the get children out on my are going to be down oh, there coming? all mm -hmm. of the time. They're going to be out in that park <laughs> with you all the time. So you cook this mustard until it is um, a little bit thickened. And then you cool it and use that, and it, it gets to look like this. And then with this, like you just this. stir it or don't. Doesn't no, matter. But we have to put that in a littler dish. So yeah. mm, here's a nice little dish. Okay, okay, great. Put that in there. Josh wants a new show. Seth and Martha in the morning. Yeah, I think we'd have a great Seth morning show. Seth and Martha in the morning. What? Are you, are, are you, and Seth in the morning. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's How popular it. are morning shows? Oh, morning shows. You have to compete with the Today Show. Well, that's all right. I don't and then you have to compete take with... Them down. Take them what down. Take them down. Early, how early does your day start? How early morning shows? Early. Do do? I could do, um, oh, six. See, six to seven. I feel like yeah. nobody's doing that show. No, they're not. Except for... No prep. Joe you and I just show up. Has he started six? Yeah. yeah. After way too early with Willie Geist. Poor Willie. Poor Willie. Too early. <laughs> Those people, and also that's not, it's not like they woke up at that Willie, time. Willie, don't get mad at me, but it is too early. You come all the way in from Bedford. I mean, he comes all the way from, he come like, south, Bedford? north, Salem, south, so Salem. he's waking up at what, 3 a.m.? Oh, horrible. Oof. He lives in his car. Oh, that's so sad. I know. <laughs> he's good, though. He's great. So here, look what the pretzels look like. This is some pretzels that we just baked. We just baked these. Now, those are not yours yet. If okay. you want to wait for yours, they're going to be very Well, can fun. I have a bite of one yeah, of these? Yeah, which one do you want to try? That one. I want to try a heart. Mm, look mm. how beautiful that is. Wait, it's wait, fantastic. Wait, bring the mustards over here. Okay. Honey mustard. This beautiful Brooks mustard. Cornichon. I'm mostly confident that the ones we made are going to be better than these. I just made these a little earlier, and they're exactly the same recipe. But so it's not don't mean. insult these. No, and I think these are great. I'm just saying, like, what this is before I But what I do you think? Do they, great. Are they as good as, like, Zurich? They're the best. It's the best <laughs> pretzel I've ever had. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Kimberly said this is the perfect show to kick off the weekend. I love it. <laughs> mm. I love these pretzels. Hi, you, Kimberly. <laughs> mm. Aren't they good? They're really good. Pretzels are just really good. If there's any takeaway, it's that. Mm. Oh, they're done. Almost. Almost. Not quite. Mm. I love that one. Yeah, why am I just having one? See, the more you put on it, I think, the better. Okay, done. Let's see what ours looks like. Mm. Mm. So beautiful. I don't know. I hope they're done. Are they going? What do you think? Maybe a minute, minute or two minute more, more, but... Give a minute or two more. This is what I'm bringing home to my wife for Valentine's Day, so yeah, let's get it right. Big. They're big pretzels. Yeah. This one looks really good, don't you think? Mm-hmm. How's that one? Rebecca wants to know, her father's have turning 100. Oh, my God. special thing she can do for dessert. He's wonderful sharp, so it has to be good. Mm. Well, again, I defer to you on a, a diverse... Pretzel? <laughs> a dessert. Mm. Make, right. make my really, really good souffle. That was in our, what, what issue of the souffles? December. December. The most beautiful souffles, and they really work, and they're really beautiful. 
and time goes into them, so I think people mm -hmm. appreciate it. And they're, spe and they're spectacular. Yeah. I'm making a pretzel yeah. dog with cornichons. <laughs> <laughs> I like the cornichon. I love a column mm. in your magazine. Mm. You like for things it? like these, like just oh. new, new ways to approach mm. old recipes. I think you should do it for our website. Seth's, Seth's mm. take on food. I'm mm -hmm. hiring you. That's it. Seth, mm -hmm. Seth. Seth. Mm -hmm. Seth. Yeah. Done and done. My wife says I make a sandwich out of anything. Oh. Let's see. That's very good. Mm-hmm. That's great. Pretzel wrapped. The pretzel wrapped cornichon. Try it. You will like it. That could be your mother. Try it. You will <laughs> like it. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Jane wants to know where the beer is to accompany the pretzel. Oh, right here. Mmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. East India Pale Ale. Is it good beer? I have time. It's okay. These are looking good. Okay. Seth Jackson wants to know what's your worst cooking disaster or mishap? Well, I did try to make dinner for my wife last year from a cookbook. Valentine's nice Day? No, just like, oh. hey, you're at work and I have the week off and I'm going to make you a nice dinner. And she came home. And I was running around like the entire apartment was on fire. <laughs> Every window was open. Oh, God. Just smoke, like smoke pouring out. Wait till you change the diaper of the baby the first time. Oh. You're going to have piles of diapers. Just meltdowns. <laughs> See, I, these are robust. They are. See, well, we made bigger ones. Those were a littler. Yeah. yeah these I'm are. just saying. Okay. Once okay. I got in the game. Look, that's yours. A little bit. I can't wait for this. That's yours. It's not, they're hot. Now, don't burn yourself. Oh, look. Heart with arrow. Still looks like a man, old man with a big nose. This is going home for the Valentine's Day. For my wife. How long until they're not too hot to eat? I don't know. They feel a little hot, but you can try. You can, depending on how asbestos-like your fingers are. <gasps> how is it? My farm. Better, right? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, really good. Out of the oven, the best. Yeah. Mmm. And look, not soggy, nice and fluffy. Mmm. That is the best. Crispy on the outside. You can take all these home. I will. That could be the present. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, no, you just broke the heart. Oh, well. <laughs> the best sign. <laughs> I got you a V. <laughs> You can take the old man heart. No, where's that one? Oh, no, that's it's on the table. Oh, it's on the table. Okay. All right. Take this one, too. These two. Take this one and this one. Okay? Take those. <laughs> How's the big heart? Good? So good. See, I like it when the cheese gets melted down there like that. Mm-hmm. Mm, really tasty. Mm, these are good. Mm. Okay. That's just the best. We did it. You know what? You did it. Seth Myers, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody Seth watching. Seth Myers is a really good pretzel maker. Have a very happy weekend. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. Weekend. And congratulations on the forthcoming. Thank you so meeting. much, Martha. It's always a pleasure. Never a chore. Thank you. <laughs>